I thought we were gonna drink whiskey while we were doing the interview. Let's pour some whiskey. Cheers. Lost Republic is a California whiskey. We like to think of Lost Republic as representing the California spirit, being independent, being a little bit different. We had the idea for starting a whiskey distillery, which then turned into drinking whiskey all night. But when we woke up and went to brunch, our pockets were full of literally cocktail napkins with a business plan marked out of it. And we went to a liquor store and we looked and we said, this is where we want it to go. <laughs> we talked uh, some friends and family into throwing in some money, get this thing started, and uh, people liked the idea. And we purchased our first whiskey and we had to sit on it for three years. And we were just talking to a lot of retailers, to bars, to restaurants. Once this stuff's ready, you're gonna buy it, right? And so, you know, the, a lot of things have to culminate, come together at the right time, and a lot of it is, is luck. The barrels that I'm sitting on that are behind us are wine barrels. Prior to uh, being a distiller, I was a winemaker, and so, of course, I came back to California and said, let's look at the wine barrels that are made right here in our backyard, and what we found was a tremendous difference in quality. The goal behind the style of Lost Republic was to do the Bordeaux of bourbons, a lighter style whiskey that wasn't so over the top. I wanted to do something that really brought back the grain flavors and put them on more of a pedestal, uh, much like in a winemaker style. The facility we're in right now is our bottling warehouse facility for case goods. We'll take multiple barrels and blend them together. That's how we ensure consistency. Then we connect the tank to our filler. It spits 750 milliliters each and every time. Once the bottles are filled and they get corked, we go to labeling. We hand write the batch number on each of the bottles, apply the tack seal. We shrink the cork nice and tight and we pack it. We try to hit up all of our accounts as often as we can. And um, even if it's just to pop in and say hello or have a cocktail. The fun part about the alcoholic beverage world is that it's still a person-to-person -person business. People don't buy stuff unless they can taste it. And you go out and tell the story. It's not too often that bartenders, these buyers, get to meet with the gentleman that actually makes the product. So we're trying to figure out you know, how we can still be that you know, person-to-person -person brand as we launch in states like Texas and Colorado and Oregon and Washington. GoDaddy just made it, it was seamless, it was easy for us to get up and running. Our website provides us a base that we can give them the information on who we are and what we do and tell more of a story. Just like we do in person, our website tells a story on the internet. It's easy for our team to go in and implement updates and you know, to keep the site dynamic. It was just super easy. Being able to put your heart and soul and your life into something that you really believe in, it doesn't feel like a job. I think on a grander scheme, I think success is, is the unicorn that you chase. You gotta look at the day to day. When you're doing what you're passionate about and what you believe in, you can really live it.